Hey everyone, Derpy here, back with another Battle Pirates video. This is one that a couple people have requested, so I figured I'm going to get it out as soon as I possibly can. This is my Pegasus Fleet Spotlight video. This is mid-raid of the November raid, and it's what I think I'm going to stay with my fleet at. My most interesting change from my last Fleet Lights Spotlight video, where I told you I'd probably change things around, and if I did, I'd release a video on that, this is this video. Well, my most interesting change is my flagship, my War Pegasus. Instead of going for what I had on there, I, I made several changes. Most notably, I changed my countermeasure system from Prometheus Missile System to Anti-Missile Proliferation System 2. I did this because anti-missile accuracy is 45%, which is higher than what it was on the other special. Additionally, it adds plus one multi-shot, which means that it will help boost my new countermeasures. I'm running a lower tier multi-form anti-missile, which came with the Proto Apollo, and this is a multi-shot anti-missile, and what that allows me to do is... It has a multi-shot of 3 once I add my special, and it means every single incoming enemy, enemy missile I should get to shoot at 3 different times and I have 3 chances to take down every shot from, for example, the Testudo missile turrets. This is really good because it means instead of, because normally when you have missile defense system 3, you shoot at it once and if you hit it goes down, if you miss, then you miss. So I have 4 here, which is the maximum number of countermeasures you can have on your flagship. I have 4 of them here. And this range with this special and these four is only slightly higher than the, than the bare range on my missile defense system three on my other four ships, which I'll show, in a, show you in a second. Additionally, because you need to have three shots at every single target, you need to drive your ships a little bit slower and you should never engage more than two testudo missile turrets at once. I've also tried to increase projectile speed as high as I possibly can on my fleet. So instead of rapid roller bearing, I replaced that with advanced optical tracking, which still gives me penetrative range and maybe a little bit of accuracy, which isn't really useful against buildings because there are a lot of buildings in this raid. But it gives me a lot of projectiles, 25% projectile speed. While it isn't a ton, it does help and it does add up. Also along the same lines of thinking, I have replaced high speed missile jets with high velocity rounds. While I do lose some of the missile damage, I do gain way more projectile speed. Projectile speed is king for these countermeasure for countermeasures on your tank. I'm, I'm sacrificing the regular damage from this ship and trying to employ it more as a tank. I still have corrosive sink drive, I still have penetrative battery, but I am using Hyper 30 to have a higher combat speed because with the very fine balance I've gone for, this is just enough combat speed. If you don't have this, then you're going to suffer because you really need that extra plus 30% combat speed because you're changing around a CIC too. So I'll make sure to put this code in my description and I have four more ships to show you. Three of them are all built the same. I have three ships with the Nessus CIC and the Nessus CIC is the one that gives it more corrosive, uh, corrosive survival. Um, and to all ships in your fleet, and it also increases the range slightly. You need to increase range because you need to be able to kite ships, like I showed you in my 130 and 132 videos of killing these the top targets for instant repair in base for free with my U0 fleet. Again, these are all U0. So this does add 7% range, and you don't lose more combat speed because if you see in the bottom right, the duplicate aura cap is 1 for minus 30% combat speed. So having three Nessus CICs slow you down the same amount as having one, at least in terms of combat speed. Turn speed, they each have minus 10%. However, because I did change from having two Turin CICs and two Nessus to three Nessus and one Turin, I'm losing the combat speed boost of plus 15% for my other Turin, which is why I need Hyper 30 to go faster. Anyway, as far as my other specials, I've tried and gone... A missile Defense System 3, I still have one of these on here. I replaced the other with the Bladed Pinion Missiles. You can also replace that with a with with the Razor Plume Missile if you want to. There's not a ton of di difference between those. The Razor Plume Missile is actually a faster, and the Bladed Pinion Missile does have extra flak evasion, and it has a little bit extra damage. Overall, Bladed Pinion Missile is slightly better, but not by that much. Now... Armor on my Nessus CICs, I have two ZM1 armors, so I can try to balance out my survival roughly. Uh, they're about the same corrosive and penetrative. Now, 
As far as specials here, most of them are very similar to my original Fleet Spotlight. I have Corrosive Synchroid for speed, High Speed Missile Jets for extra damage and range, Rapid Roller Bearings, that's, that's the range special. High Speed Missile Jets is not the range, it's just for more damage, projectile speed. I still have Surgical Strike Warheads, limited special for extra reload and damage, still penetrated battery. However, I've taken off Prometheus Missile System for Hyper 30 installation because I'm banking on my flag for shooting down all the anti-missiles. Like I said, I do have one Missile Defense System 3 on here, just in case I need anything gets past that flag and gets into the slightly shorter range version, slightly shorter range anti-missiles of Missile Defense System 3. And then I have three ships of, that are built like that, Turing CICs, and I have one last ship here. One ship is Turing CIC and three are Nessus. War Pegasus, no CICs, three Nessus, and then one Turin. And the Turin is the same exact build as Nessus, except I have corrosive armor instead, again, to balance out the armor just a little bit better. Now, a couple things, if you, I have changed my build around, but I did show you that the ships could complete the targets, I have changed them slightly. As far as needed changes, changing out using high velocity rounds versus high speed missile jets is a small change. You don't really need to bother with that. Advanced optical tracking instead of rapid roller bearing, even smaller change, you really don't need to bother with that. I did change around my armor to have more ZM1 armor because the flag tends to get targeted more. So that was an important change, better than going for corrosive and even better than going two and two of each armor. My multi-form anti-missile countermeasures are a little bit better than Missile Defense System 3 and I would recommend it if you can and if you can have tokens. I saved a couple, up a couple tokens. We don't have any extra ships to build from this raid because I'm not getting the bayonet because I don't like it. But So I have used some of my tokens on my War Pegasus. But the, by far the biggest change if you want to make sure you can do these targets similar to how I can is the anti-missile proliferation system 2 to increase anti-missile accuracy much more than the Prometheus missile system did and the ZM-1 armor helps out a lot. So, and then my other four ships, if you don't have bladed pin, bladed pin missiles, don't worry about it. And if you don't have the right armor, you should try and get up there because armor is fairly important. You can, there are all my limited specials on here. You can replace them with other non-limited specials. But Hyper 30 is important for speed, especially when you're only running one turn in CIC. So I will put the all the build codes from this in the YouTube description and probably also comments of whatever Facebook page I post this on. If you do have questions, make sure you leave a comment below and I will make sure to answer you. As far as crews, I really like running Sea Serpent's crew with this because it helps it turn a little bit faster and also add some evade. Evade can be fairly important in these targets and help reduce damage. Now, if you have any questions, like I said, comment below, comment something on the Facebook page. I will get back to you. If you have any, any other feedback, anything else you want me to know, put that there too. If this video helped you, you can leave a like on YouTube and on Facebook, and you can share it to your Alliance members too so they can see the video also. But that's about it for me. I'm going to roll to the end screen, which should have one video best picked for you, one video that is the most recent one I uploaded, and a subscribe button to my channel. Just click on the cow, cow logo and you'll be able to subscribe. But that's all I have, and as always, this is Derpy, signing out, helping you be a better pirate.